ไกซอมีเตทูตอซอมนีซอมีอินควันยูเอสเอกิปอลไนอะฮงตุงเนนจูไลคานิงานีเจียงอินตูซาคุปิอะซอไลคุมตะจินปอยบอซอมฮีป
thế nào đừng khăm nay toát dòng nhìn sẽ lung mây áp cây ni sẽ nó xa dấu gầm tòa hồng chung ba đi ai vắng ngã khăng nghe
between Myanmar's quasi military regime and communist China mining nickel deposits in Zogam, currently known as Chin State of Northwest Myanmar. According to the 1947 Panlung Agreement 2, 5, and 7, including defense and foreign affairs of Zogam, is to be in the hands of the Zomi, the indigenous people of Zogam, Chin State, and not the parliament of Myanmar. The said agreement empowers the Zomi to govern themselves and look after their own internal and external affairs. Also, the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, Article 25-27, reaffirms the rights of the indigenous people on land and land use. Therefore, 
the indigenous people called Zaumi cannot allow and accept the Myanmar and China or any private corporation to mine and export the nickel deposits found on Golumwa or any other natural resources found within Zogam for that matter. Until and unless the Zomi can enjoy their democratic rights and have a say in the affair directly or indirectly concerning their land and its natural, natural resources. We herewith call, call the immediate stopping of the Golu project exploiting the natural resources of Zogam and therefore exploiting the Zomi indigenous people. Zomi Association of Australia will endeavour to fight against this evil collaboration with the help of the Zomi indigenous communities worldwide by all peaceful means available under the international law. Zomi Association of Australia also calls on the international community to safeguard the rights of the Zomi indigenous people of Myanmar who have long been suffering religious persecution, economic exploitation, and political exclusion. For, for and on behalf of the Zomi indigenous people, in cooperation with World Zomi Congress, Zomi Association Australia. We don't see them again! ยีปายเดตาคันซอมีเมียอีอจูซีบัวโกทีไฮเพชซีจินผิดดิยีปายเดตาคันซอมีเมียอีซานาโกเมเมียนไกเมนจินมะปิ่วเบอีเกโดซ
ဆီမန်ကိန်းကိုအကောင်းထည့်ဖော်ပါက ပြီးသူလူတူအတွက်တိကြမှန်ကန်တော့အကျိုးမြတ်ဖြစ်ထွန်းစေမိဆန်ချိန်ဆန်ညွတ်များတက်မှတ်ခြင်းပြီးသူ
Welcome to Zomi TV International. This is an online presentation of Zomi TV International program, broadcasting from Tulsa, Oklahoma, on the affairs of the Zomi people around the world. We'll begin our program for today, July 14th of 2013, with local and international news. Then, we'll be presenting news articles on Zomi around the world. Here's the local news from Tulsa, Oklahoma. A celebration of Centennial Jubilee of Zolai, the Zomi literature was spectacularly held on last Friday of the 5th of July here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, hosted by a Zomi community in Oklahoma known as Zomi Inquan, Oklahoma, and organized by Zomi Inquan USA Incorporation. The celebration was attended by 300 crowd of Zomis living in Tulsa and some representatives from Zomi communities throughout the country. The celebration program was broadcasted live through online streaming from the main auditorium of the Full Gospel Assembly Church, very owned by the Tulsa Zomi Believers. It was a solemn dedication to the Zomi literature, a Zomi written language invented by the American Baptist missionary Joseph Herbert Cope in the year 1913, right after two years of his arrival to the town of Dedim in Zogum, known as Chin State for missionary work. The celebration program included speeches, presentations, prayer services, cultural dances, and musical performances. Celebrating a centennial jubilee of the Zomi literature confirms that the uniqueness of the Zomis as one of the ethnic peoples among many others, said the president of the Zomi in Guan USA, Wu Go Song Ku, in his welcoming speech. To preserve and advocate the heritage of being an ethnic Zomi while resettling among the multicultural societies is one of the main objectives of Zomi in Guan USA. Therefore, it is crucial to celebrate the centennial jubilee of the Zo Lai, he added. He further explained the importance of the Zomi literature for a nation-building process and for civilization. He reaffirmed that this is an accomplishment of one of the purposes of the Zomi community organization, to strengthen the Zomi nationalism. Dr. Swan Zadong of Australia was the invited chief guest of the celebration. He delivered a strong message on the Zomi nationalism and encouraged to practice a civilized manner of a strong nationality. Explaining the importance of the spoken language, he added that to be a great people, a strong nationality, the Zomis ought to be speaking their mother tongue in their daily life, wherever they're set, they settled. Dr. Dong proclaimed that the Zomi should be proud of being a blessed people. Zomi de Nampili, Nampili. 
pi kay mabangin nang pinungsi kanay di ni ni nang pi kay mabangin nang pinungsi kanay di ni katila nang pi kay nang pinungsi kanay di ni kaso ipamin nang pipawai di ni tumay kaso ipamin nang pipawai di ni kaso ipamin nang pipawai di ni kaso ipamin nang pipawai di ni Former General Secretary of Zomi Christian Literature Society, Set CLS, Reverend Tom Jin Tai Tu. And the former General Secretary of Zomi Literature Uplift Society, Zoles, Wu Wong Lian Mang. The presentations of the development of the Zomi written language and the Zomi literature. Dr. Chin Do Kam, a former professor at Oral Roberts University, delivered a strong message of the statement on the celebration of the Centennial Jubilee. We'll be presenting this message at the end of this program, so stay tuned. of news on the affairs of Zomis filed from New Delhi, India. About a hundred Zomi refugees here in Delhi held a demonstration against the approval of Mwetang, known as Gulumwal Nickel Mining Project in Thedim Township of Chin State in Myanmar. They demanded immediate halting of the Gulumwal Nickel Mining Project a joint venture of Chinese mining company and Myanmar government. A release issued by the demonstrators condemned by the partnership between the two governments to exploit the natural deposit on their land. R recalling the 1947 Bang Long Agreement, the statement quoted that defense and foreign affairs of Zomis in Chin State will be in their own hands and not the Myanmar government. Therefore, they rightfully cannot allow such projects to be carried out without their informed consent. The demonstrators called on the Indian government and civil society to support the democratic rights of the indigenous people of Thedin Township. Another development, group demonstrations against the Gulumwal nickel mining project were held on June 28th in Washington, D.C., in Canberra organized by an overseas-based World Zomi Congress Party and participated by hundreds of Zomi activists. The demonstrations were conducted in front of Myanmar embassies in both cities. Statement on the rejection of the project and condemning the Myanmar government for encroaching into the land of the Zomi indigenous people were handed to the embassies, reported the organizer. You are watching Zomi TV International Broadcasting Program. We received another report on the affairs of Zomis in India. A peaceful rally was held at Cherachanpur, known as Lamka Kwapi, today to protest and condemn the unwarranted raid conducted at the residence of United People Front, General Secretary and Zomi Reunification Organization. President Tang Lian Pao Guite in the wee hours of 3rd July by personnel of 30th Awesome Rifles. The rally was jointly organized by Zomi Students Federation and Mar Students Association from Lumka Public Ground to Cherachanpur DC office. More than 2,000 people participated in the rally. Later, ZSF submitted two separate memorandums to Prime Minister and Union Home Secretary through ADC of Cherachanpur Meniram Sharma. This is Zomi TV International. Oh. Our correspondent files this report on the World Population Day, making connection this occasion to the affairs of the Zomis in Myanmar. As a staunch advocate of the education, health, and rights of girls, and an enduring believer in the power of young women to transform our world, I welcome the focus of this year's World Population Day on Adolescence Pregnancy. This sensitive topic demands global attention, said the United Nations Secretary 
General Ban Ki-moon in his message on World Population Day. July 11th is marked the World Population Day and has been celebrated by the United, United Nations and its members. The Secretary General said he is concerned about the disturbing humanitarian plight of Burma's Rohingya Muslims and even appeared to call for the minority groups to be given full citizenship. In the meantime, in Burma, United Nations Populations Fund and the Ministry of Immigration and Population jointly organized a commemorative ceremony of World Population Day to call actions to protect and empower adolescents girls by the government and civil societies. In this occasion, His Excellency Vice President Dr. Sai Malk Kham delivered an opening speech and stated the current population of Myanmar is estimated at about 60 million. After delivering the message on focus of this year, World Population Day and calling a minority group, the Rohingya in Myanmar to be recognized the UN Secretary General will surely be expected to address the status of all ethnic groups in the country, said by a political analyst. As the Vice President of Myanmar estimated the population to be at about 60 million, the so-called Dain Yin Tha, the ethnic groups make 45% of the population. Among them, Zomi is one of the major ethnic groups. For the past 65 years, the majority Burman ruled the country under the dictatorship or the military government. And it wasn't just the Rohingya. The Zomi and the other ethnic groups never enjoyed their rights of full citizenship or their basic democratic rights. They were never granted to practice self-determination according to their agreement at Peng Long made in 1947. While celebrating the World Population Day, it is crucial time for the ethnic groups in Myanmar to strive for their own recognition as the planned 2014 census is approaching, a Zomi community leader told Zomi TV. The divide and rule policy practiced by the past Burmese dictators separated the ethnic peoples into multiple groups. In Chin State alone, an ethnic people is divided into 53 groups by the Burmese government. It is a systematic ethnic cleansing program committed by the brutal Burmese dictators, blamed a Zomi political affairs committee based in overseas. There is no such thing for the Burman that the people in Mandalay City are called Mandalay ethnic group, Yangon ethnic people in Yangon City, Pagan ethnic people in Pagan town. But ruthlessly, the so-called Thain Yin Tha minority peoples are forced in ethnicity to be divided into more than a hundred groups. It is time to respect the so-called Thain Yin Tha, the minority peoples in Myanmar in equal rights with the Burman. In connection with the census and the ethnicity, the Nationalist Party of the Zomi's Zomi Congress for Democracy Party plans to submit a memorandum of registration for the Zomi people to be recognized by the name Zomi and not Chin to the president, the head of the immigration department and the chairman of the National Election Commission in Myanmar, said the party general secretary, Bu Gin Gam Lian. We are called ourselves by the name Zomi from time immemorial, he added. You are watching Zomi TV International Broadcasting. Present an article on the affairs of ethnic groups in Myanmar. The article appears online, BNI News. The article reads, During the recent federalism and ethnic view discussion organized by former political prisoners, making amendments to the 2008 constitutions was part of the discussion. One common concern raised during the June 2nd meeting in Yangon was achieving national reconciliation when the constitution doesn't include sufficient provisions for federalism. We cannot truly get national reconciliation until details about federalism is included in the constitution. Our country is not unitary. All the ethnics share these views, said Bu Jin Xiantang the president of the Zomi Congress for Democracy Party. Federalism and civic rights in the 2008 constitution are also very vague, according to the ZCD president. All of the ethnic groups are asking for amendments to the 2008 constitution. 
break, break, break. Presentation from Zomi TV International. We will leave you here with a speech delivered during the centennial celebration of Zomi literature by Dr. Chin Do Kam. To our chief guest, Dr. Sun Zedong. Sun Zedong, right, Dr. Sun Zedong, from Australia. Our respected, extreme members of so many communities USA and all the honored guests. We are here to celebrate the centennial jubilee of so many literature. We are here to celebrate together. So we thank the Lord who has brought us this far. So in honor of this celebration event, shall we all clap our hands together. First of all, we thank God for He is the one who brought us to the greatest nation on earth called the United States of America. So that we all can come together for a time like this to look back our 100 years of history as we look forward to the future. Rejoicing in the present, it is God Almighty, the God of the Israelites. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Zoe, who has brought us this far. So we are here to honor the Almighty God, who is the creator of the Zoe. Secondly, we are here to honor Dr. Joseph Harvard Cole, who came all the way from the United States of America to our primitive land called Zoe Land in Chin State, Myanmar, 100 years ago. We are here to honor him for his sacrificial labor until he laid down his life so that we might become a developed society. A society that has no written language. He came and learned our spoken language himself for more than two years. Before he started inventing our Zomi language. He came in 1910 and very quickly began to learn the Zomi spoken language. And slowly he developed an idea of using Roman alphabet in creating our own language without imposing English language. That means that we respect our culture, our identity, and help us to grow as who we are. Therefore, we are here to honor Dr. Joseph Herbert Cole. Because it is so significant because it is so significant. Let me explain to you why. Until then, generation after generation, the Zomi people were communicating from generation to generation through oral tradition. Based on one person's memory, communicated and then headed down to the next generation. Along the way, many things were lost. And there are many contradicting historical records. One of my professors years ago told us in the classroom, a little ink can remember much longer than the brightest brain. That shows the value of written language. Our memories are so limited. What we know so well today, if it is not kept in a written form, in the next few days, we will forget most of it. In order for our society, Zomi society, to become a society that is equal to any other society, this historical development of the invention of the Zomi language is something that our society 
will always honor and treasure. Thirdly, we are here to honor those individuals and groups who have continuously labored to maintain and perfect our Zalmi literature during the past four generations. Even if one brilliant person invented our language, if there's no local Zalmi people who are committed to labor beyond and after his death, he may have lost our written language already. Therefore, we look back our history, and I cannot name all the names who have played significant roles in these hundred years of historical linguistic development. We will generally honor them. Reverend Chichen mentioned earlier some of the significant contributors of that historical development. So we honor them. I'm sure along the way they have been uh, criticized or they have been mocked at the times because of the imperfect process. And yet, they were determined to nurture, maintain, and perfect our uh, written language. I feel so privileged to be standing here today speaking in another language. English, that is not our native language. It is because Joseph Hiram Cole invented the Zobi language using Roman alphabet, through which I studied from my primary schools, A, B, C, D, and learning from one level to another until I finished my PhD. And now travel around the world internationally, speaking in Zobi language, affirming our identity that we are not just a bad word, primitive society. With God's help and our continuing literature development, we can step anywhere in the world, talk about any issue. Would it be politics, economy, science, healthcare, religion? Now, because of our literature, we are equal with any human society anywhere in the world. Therefore, we are truly thankful and grateful for this incredible historic celebration. The fourth thing is that we are here to encourage and challenge ourselves. Not only looking back and celebrating the past 100 years of accomplishment, but what do we do from now, here and now? Where do we go from here? Are we perfected already, or do we have room to grow with our Zobi literature? So that it becomes truly international standard. So far, with God's help and the labor of the Zobi individuals and groups, societies and churches, the whole Bible, Old Testament and New Testament have been translated in our native dialect. Zomi language. Hundreds of books and magazines have been written and published. I don't think that is the end of the development of Zomi literature. Think about this. What if we have not had a written language? Where will our, will our society be? Where will you and me be today? If there had not been person like Dr. Joseph Haberto, American Baptist missionary. So we are truly grateful and thankful to the Americans today. Not only that, even the British missionaries and from many, many other nations who have labored, sacrificed themselves in order that people like us, primitive backward people, will be developed to where we are today. We are indebted to God. We are indebted to the investment and the prayers of many who have invested themselves in our development process. Without that literature development, the zombie society will not be where we are today. Friends, 
well-developed literature is absolute necessity or it is absolutely essential for any society to live and grow and keep a living society. A proper literature is the foundation for education, for politics, for economy, for healthcare, and social cultural development. If a zombie society is to grow beyond where we are now and play a global role, I believe the challenge is, is ahead of us. From printing and writing local news and magazines to a day that I'm dreaming. Friends, I have a dream. I have a dream that one day, using the Zomi literature, we will offer BA degrees, MA degrees, and PhD degrees. And people from other nations and society will come to learn deep things about uh, society, social sciences, natural sciences, technology, and all that. If you imagine where we are now, just 10 years ago, no one will ever dare to dream that you and I, this many, about 10,000 Zomi, will be settling in this great nation called USA. The impossible things have been made possible by our great God. If these incredible things could happen in a short time, I believe that in the next few years, greater things can happen. And I want to live long enough to see that day when my dream becomes a reality. And now we are celebrating today not only those of us, so we people living in the U.S., not only those who are in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but even the Zomi community, Zomi and Kong U.S. and members, leaders from different states coming together, gathering of the nations in a sense. Like a scholar, a physician, a Zomi, intellectual person, fly all the way from the underwater, right? What is called in the Australia? Down under, the down under, right? From the ends of the earth from Australia, Myself, I just came back from Myanmar from the Zomi land just one week ago. And here we are together celebrating this incredible historical development of Zomi literature. So I want to applaud the Zomi Kwan USA. What is, that is a recognized... Yes, yes. A recognized body by the United States of America government. And slowly now we are entering into the United Nations platforms also. And we will not stop growing. We have just begun. The best is yet to come. Come on. The best is yet to come. Friends, I wish I had more time to talk about my dream. Even as we look back these hundred years of our history, Four generations. Unbelievable things have taken place. And you and I are here. That's the foundation of our future. Our people in Myanmar and other nations are looking up to you, those of us who are living and settling in the era. Let us be responsible, so many people, for our development of ourselves for the development of our people, our land, so that we will be equal people. Understanding and actualizing our human rights. Keep on trusting in the God who has brought us this far, so that someday, someday, not a very long, distant future, but very soon, we will be looking back and say, wow, a few years ago, we celebrated 100 years of Zomi literature. But now, in a short, much shorter time, we have accomplished much more. In order to see that dream come true, 
May the Lord help you and me to become responsible individuals. Staying true to our values, American values, beautiful values, and Zoe cultural values, and become the best of a mixed culture. And we internationally, cross-culturally, interculturally competent to play any role in our new society. May the Lord continue to bless Zomi Kwan USA and Malaysia. May the Lord bless the Zomi society. May the Lord continue to bless Zomi literature. ตัวอีกนั่นอีกอีกละคอยสมาคมอ่าฮีละกะสักมะนิงกะปาอีกนะซงขังเซมเซมฮีอะลาหอยกะสมาคมอ่าอ่ามุนขะตินกะลุงซ
望看见远，抓我那梵高的空地心。To akituak trading in tool ni legger kum gambup tu kun pi puak pading puak pading tu atam luat ale zong gambup tu kun pi atak hat hunga kip sakding tu pi hiji in kau takin gen hia hi hi holim na pen bujin sian tengin makain hunuk pi chamen asem ahi hi. Fajar mungkin dah muda, lepas ini tahun siapa yang akan cikgu uli bu amian pensen bu ne? Pensen bu cakap dua tahun yang ni mesu ye, ada pensen ye suai bu, sumi muda kongra parti ga, sana ni yang lima belas suai parade. Sumi muda kongra parti ok ta, sambi, nanti ye jenah kami apa ga jimu jen parade, fajar musa ya suai bu ma, fajar pilihan su bi 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 bawa bu tu, fajar ye suai ye ha, cikgu ni macam ada no bulu suai parade. ที่ชมพูชีดีบูดีชาจุบอ๋อที่ชมสังเกตดังชีดีโอสุดาจุบเนี่ยกูยิ่งชมดีบูที่ชมเส้นนั้นสุดาการฟังชีอาลุงจุ
ชื่อเนี่ยตอนนี้จรวนรู้ไปกว่าเมียขึ้นเนาะดีกว่าเราพี่น้องอยู่ทั่วนี่พี่เนาะแต่ได้ไม่ปิดเนี่ยกูยื
ตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาตาต
ဒီဇုံမီအမျိုးတာလုံမှုရဲ့ဖွဲ့ဇစ်အဲ့ဒီအုပ်ကထဖြစ်တယ်ပြီးတော့ကျွန်တော်ဒီဇုံမီခေတ
ফেকো আবারে তোনি রে বাউমে জেনারো মিয়ামা তামরো তানিয়া নেপচে জেনারো ইয়ে তচেন তাইন তু মিয়া তাঙ্গে তমি মে মিয়া নে ক্লে তু নে কো তে জি জুয়ে ও পা মে চান নি মিউ সং নে নাই থে নিয়েন জে মু পিউ লু চেন মে দেই পিউ চেন আ সা ইউ তু আয়া আ লং কো মা জেনারো গা পিয়ান লে လွတ်မြောက်နိုင်ဘူးကင်းလွတ်နိုင်ဘူးအရာကျွန်တော်တို့အနေနဲ့အများစွာဝင်တာဖြစ်မိပါတယ်ကိုချင်းညီကိုတ
Come let me know.